Have you ever had a really large video that you just wanted to extract a few minutes from? Or has that masterpiece video that you've created been too long in length to upload to YouTube? Or have you received a split video in two or three parts that you wanted to join back together? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a free program that can do all of that and a lot more. The software that I'm going to be using is called Virtual Dub, found here. So why am I using this as opposed to other software that can be used? Well, number one, it's freeware, and I love me some freeware. And secondly, compared to other video editors, it's insanely fast. But that also has its drawbacks. I'll be discussing that later. Now before you can import your video into Virtual Dub, it has to be encoded as an AVI file. If it already says .avi at the end, then you're good to go. But if not, we'll need to download Format Factory and convert it to an AVI file. You can find Format Factory at this website. Just download and install it, and from there it's pretty simple to use. Just drag your video footage onto the main window and select All to AVI. If you want to adjust the output settings, you can click the Settings button and choose a Settings option from the drop-down menu. Then just click OK and Start, and when it's through, you can click on the Output Folder icon to see your converted file. Now that we have that done, we can move on to Virtual Dub. You can download Virtual Dub from here. It comes in a zip file, so once it downloads, you should just be able to unzip the files and run Virtual Dub straight from the folder by clicking on virtualdub.exe. So now that we have it up and running, you can drag the AVI footage directly onto the main window. If you wanted to mess around with the video before splitting or trimming it, you can go to Video and Filters, click on the Add button, and select from one of the filters such as Blur or Emboss, and then add it to the video. Otherwise, to extract a section from the video, you want to move the scrub bar to the location where you want to start the cut, and then click the Mark End button. Then move the scrub bar to where you want to end the cut and click on the Mark Out button. After that, you can go to File, Save as AVI, and then choose the place that you want to save it to. You can use the same method to split a video by setting the Mark In at the beginning of the video and the Mark Out to the middle of the video or wherever you want to split it, and then save it just like before. Then you can go to edit and delete to delete this section and then now you can save the remainder of the video as the second section. If you want to append two or more sections of video together, you'll need to open up a new instance of Virtual Dub and drag the first clip onto the main window. Then go to File, Append AVI Segment and choose the next clip that you want to append to the end of this video. If you have more than two segments, just continue appending AVI segments until you have all of them imported. After that, just go to File, Save as AVI, and it will combine all the clips to one single AVI file. That was pretty easy, right? Well, remember how I said that there's a downside to this? Well, here's what I mean. If you right-click on one of the video files that you saved and select Properties, you can see that your video size is astronomically huge as compared to what it was before we started. Now you may not be too concerned with the video size, which is fine, you can just leave it as it is. But if you want to shrink it back down, you can pop open Format Factory again and convert the clip to something like MP4 or WMV and it will automatically shrink the video size down. Aside from cutting and joining, Virtual Dub can also zoom, blur, tint, rotate, flip, crop, and emboss your videos, along with a bunch of other features. So feel free to mess around with it, and if you come up with something cool or crazy, be sure to post it as a video response. Alright, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.